Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Goldstream Park here on Wednesday. It is December the 5th, 2018. Going to look at the 8th race from Goldstream, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections from race courses around the world. The 8th race from Goldstream, it's an allowance race, purse $47,000. This race is for Phillies and Mayors, 3 year olds, and upwards, never won a race in the main claim starter, restricted allowance race, which never won two races here. Field of 8 horses, 8 horses going the distance of ground of 1200 meters if you want to go by that or the distance of ground of six furlongs on the main track 1200 meters six furlongs goldstream park main track and i show the diagram it just gives me a second to look down in my notes just bear with me sorry i'm stupid i can't do two things at the same time top selection here i like the number three horse art arcelo or arcelo i do listen i do watch the replays but uh, occasionally i do listen to them without the sound on um because i don't want to really hear the announcers half the time uh not to know the announcers at churchill or keelan uh, travis stone or kurt becker but uh, you know sometimes i like the uh, the quiet because i can really concentrate on the races so you know it didn't really you know get how they pronounce the horse's name but um you know i still think he's gonna win <laughs> so i'm gonna even though i can't say the name i'm gonna go three one eight two in the super factor three one eight two super top selection to one of uh, the three horse arcelor um this four-year-old filly by telling here louis saez gets leg up for brendan walsh the horse's most recent out again the 7th of october at keeneland seven frongs in a star lounge race for a hundred thousand um the horse finished second by a nose there he had a great turn of foot from the back there he just missed but he ran a mess of race i think a 25 to 1 there before that churchill seven frogs and a star lounge race again for a hundred thousand or excuse me is that uh, that's for um yeah it looks like it's a hundred thousand he finished fourth by two lengths there he had a very you know troubled trip there going down the back but he he was closing up well at the end it wasn't a bad race first off the break and then before that 24th of june at uh, churchill six and a half in the star lounge race he finished eighth by 12 and a quarter lengths horrible trip that day he never got into it, it was very you know it, it just wasn't comfortable that day and then a Churchill six furlongs in a lounge race. He started a lounge race June the third. Again, he finished third by four and a half lengths. A little bit wide, which probably cost him. I think he'll sit, uh, you know, towards the inside today with the inside poster. And I think he could have a, you know, he's going to probably have to go wide around the far turn. But at the five sixteenth pole quarter pole, I could see this horse getting to the uh, front end and, uh, you know, going away with it. He does like this course here at Goldstream. He's four and two on it. Um, you know, he, he won here about a year ago, December the 7th, in a six for a long, uh, optional 12 claimer where he won by two and a half lengths at five to one, a very good race. And then after that, he won at Goldstream back in January, very easy, optional 10. And then they took this horse to starter stakes where he didn't really do that well here. But, um, you know, I think this is a pr perfect race for him. You know, gets leading rider from last season up the Saez. Watch out for him at 7 to 2. As of price, I know. <laughs> but to recap my selections for the 8th from Goldstream, I'm going to go with the 3 horse. Going to go 3 1 8 2 in the Superfecta. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kick 5. Good luck.